Hi, my name is Scotty, and I am the original Benger. With Season 2 of Sense8 coming May 5th, I finally sat down and watched Season 1. Today I'll tell you if it's binge-worthy. If you like TV reviews, please consider clicking the subscribe button, because I'll be doing this every week. Let's get started. <laughs> Sense8 was created by J. Michael Stravinsky and the Wachowskis. The Wachowskis are responsible for such garbage as Speed Racer, Jupiter Ascending, and the Matrix Trilogy. Stravinsky created the incredibly boring Babylon 5. After you finished breakfast, I thought we could spend the day watching the final season of Babylon 5 with director commentary. You hate Babylon 5. I do. It fails as drama, science fiction, and it's hopelessly derivative. <laughs> But you like it, and you're my friend. So when I sat down to watch season one, I expected, like most Wachowski projects, it would be more about looking cool than actually telling an interesting story. I fully expected to hate it. What I found was a show that looked amazing, had an intriguing premise, and told compelling stories about its characters. Sense8 is the story of eight strangers from eight cities around the world, who, after all having the same vision of a woman killing herself, begin to discover that they have a mental and emotional connection. The connection allows them to communicate with each other even though they are thousands of miles apart. As they learn more about their powers, they learn that they are being hunted by someone known as Whispers. In the beginning, information about the connection, the woman, and Whispers come at a frustratingly slow pace. Instead, the show focuses on individual character stories. You have Will, a Chicago cop who is haunted by an unsolved case of his father's. Lito, an actor in Mexico City, Lito fears if people find out he's gay, it'll ruin his career. Wolfgang, a Berlin safecracker who is trying to get out from under the shadow of his abusive father. Riley, an Icelandic DJ living in London, she's afraid to return home. Kayla is a pharmacist living in Mumbai. Kayla is engaged to a man she's not sure she loves. Nomi is a trans woman in San Francisco. A blogger and a hacktivist, Nomi is estranged from her family. Caffius owns a bus in Nairobi. He struggles to take care of his sick mother. Finally, we have Sun. By day, she works for her father, a powerful businessman. At night, she's a badass underground kickboxer. At first, the pace can be a little frustrating. But the more you learn about the characters, the more you want to know. The show does a good job of making you care about the characters. So by the time they actively start using their powers to help each other, you want to cheer them on. Overall, I think Sense8 made the right call by focusing on character development. Other than pacing, other complaints about Sense8 have been the writing. And I half agree with that. While the stories are engaging, the dialogue can leave a lot to be desired. Some reviews I've seen have said the acting is bad, but I completely disagree with that. The acting is actually pretty good, but there's only so much you can do with bad dialogue. Some complain that the show pushes a liberal and LGBT agenda. So what? But the overall consensus seems to be that despite a few flaws, Sense8 is a fantastic show. Is Sense8 binge-worthy? Absolutely. The show is made to be binged. Highly serialized, cliffhanger endings, characters you grow closer to every episode, and an intriguing plot that has you desperate for answers. It's hard to stop watching once it gets going. However, due to the slow pace in the beginning, I do recommend the three-episode rule for Sense8. While the action really kicks in in episode four, by the third episode, you'll be so invested in the characters, you won't be able to look away. There you have it. Have you ever ended up liking a show you thought you'd hate? Tell me about it in the comments. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. Next week, I'll be letting you know if HBO's Big Little Lies is binge-worthy. If you don't want to miss it, click the subscribe, and then if you click the little bell icon, you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching.